Eugene! Eugene, you're right, you've been in here for a while. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we got Valkyries to the next round. No. It was you. You wouldn't understand. You look at Yu-Gi-Oh like it's just some kind of game. Well, right. So try me. What do I not understand? <laughs> this bracket decides the fate of the entire trading card game. You were right. No one plays Weathers. No one plays Weather Painters. It was bots the whole time because the cards come in higher rarities. Now it's time for Valkyries! I still don't understand it, Eugene. It's just one card, and it's just Yu-Gi-Oh! You and every other idiot out there ruins the creator card pool for everybody! They pulled it! Dang it! They're always doing that! Because you and everyone else keep making them! This creator card bracket is all that we've had! It's all that we've had! Besides the, the remote dueling thing! And that sucks! <laughs> Yeah, it does. Woohoo! Remote duels! Good job as always, Eugene! Speaking of which, I wonder how Slim's doing. Ugh, probably still scrubbing it up. Ugh, I was way too much duelist for that guy. <laughs> you top deck Exodia, that's luck. A good duelist would be prepared for that. A good duelist would always vote for the decks that need the most support and not try to rig the results. I know, I'm sorry. You said I would like Valkyries though, and I really did. I also wanted to make sure the frogs didn't win. I really hate that deck. Eugene, the card pool has gotten so expansive and they come out with so many cards so often that it literally doesn't matter. Wait a year and they will probably have a new card for every deck on that bracket anyways. I agree. But you is better now, there's so much variety. I mean, it is cool to be able to play anything, but like I'm always saying, I like to play Yu-Gi-Oh more like poker where everybody knows the card pool intimately, everybody knows what's going on. And that's why I like to play GOATS. Goat? Yeah, yeah, there you go again. Well, if you're good and you keep up with the game and always play against good players, wouldn't it be more like poker that way then? Especially if everyone's playing the best and most expensive cards online anyways? One, that's the smartest thing you've said in a while. Two, the card pool is so expansive you can still get wrecked by random stuff, which is frustrating. But also balancing. Yeah, you're one of the top, Mr. Cyber Dragon, Mr. Harold, Mr. Counter Fairy. Which is why I don't try nearly as hard as I used to. And even when I was trying, I found ways to try less hard. Like way back in Necros format. I switched to Heroes during that format because why have this expensive ass Necros deck when Heroes get the job done? And then later on, when Monarchs came out, when Pendulums were around, there was no reason to have all these expensive ass Pendulum cards when Monarchs got the job done. Waste of money. The best decks are always gonna be the most expensive ones though, which is why playing online is better. Everyone has access, access to the same card pool. Right, I hear that one a lot these days. That's actually why I advocate GOAT format so much because everyone has access to that card pool in real life. Will you barely let me go to tournaments with you? Can you blame me? There's a girl here, there's a girl here, there's a girl here. There's a girl here, there's a girl, here. There's a girl. Sam, 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 Sam. Cash Prize Goat Tournament, August 29th at Paleo's Pizza in Fort Worth, Texas. That is right, Cash Prize Goat Tournament, 80% payout to top four, and if attendance is there, we're gonna be doing 80% payout to top eight. So show up, and it's gonna be mats, and I'm gonna be there. There will be mats, and you might be there. Maybe. No.
subscribe. <laughs>